from when you go home to Zimbabwe and comparing it to here being in the UK what is the one thing that really stands out for you that is different or that now you can uh, you may consider to be your life now and when you go to Zimbabwe it's not something that you can is this something that you can adapt to in Zimbabwe or something that you cannot I may be asking you two different questions here yeah it sounds like two different questions there are two different questions are you, are you asking us like what we find different about Zimbabwe okay. yeah. or are you asking us compare Zimbabwe with life here what is the one thing that stands out for you that when you go to Zimbabwe you notice is very different from you there are some things that are rather okay. obvious I but think I'm the thinking. lifestyle the, 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 the way we, we're living now I, I do find it. Um, I think we as uh, we have more. I probably maybe if I say I, but I, I think a lot of Zimbabweans have taken, or a lot of a lot of people who come to the diaspora, they have taken. They have we ad, we have adapted this sort of like culture rather than the the one back home. Some of the things that we are now doing. We probably relate it more to what's happening here and the way we're living here than with the way we used to live back home. I'll give you a typical example. Yeah, I think back home we all know that we used to have maids, and if you are uh, working in the working class, I'd come back home, take off my shoes, on the sofa. Can I have my remote, please? <laughs> Cup of tea and everything. But nowadays, I have to come back, cook for myself. Yeah, put the kettle on. <laughs> put, yeah, put, yeah, put the kettle on. <laughs> if I am, um, even if I'm, even if I'm married, I have to have that responsibility that one or two days I'm it, young, young guys like us, you can go and cook because the wife is at work. I don't have a mate. I don't have to wait for my wife to come back from work to cook for me. I have to do it. So we have kind of. Back home, even That's if right. even if the wife is going to work, I would wait for the wife. I'll put mm -hmm. my feet up, watch the TV for the wife to come to start cooking or the maid to start cooking. Yeah, that's the culture, yeah. isn't it? The culture. culture. So I think there's more we've taken on this culture than you know. That's that's how I've seen things have changed. So you find yourself when you go back to Zimbabwe, you're really on a holiday because you don't have to worry about doing your laundry. You don't have to worry about. Uh, could the kettle on cooking sadza is that I'm, what you're saying? I'm, I'm still i'm still young and i now because of I've, I've adapted to it i still find it really difficult for me to come back home and just sit put my feet up and you know do all that stuff i i i have to be often told when i'm getting home just come on relax here <laughs> at home mom is doing it or a maid is doing it or you know all that kind of thing because i'm now used to that culture where i have to do things for myself mm. so even if i go back home it takes me to the first few days i'm still confused i want to come back indoors mm -hmm. put the kettle on for myself or i'm thinking what am i going to eat tonight put the kettle on Definitely adapted to English culture, isn't it? Oh, so that's one thing you're thinking about, about the cup of tea. <laughs> but I'm never going to get it Yeah, of course. Cup of tea? Yeah, cup of tea. Yeah, why not? Yeah, of like, course. Yeah. For me, I think, um, you know, um, I always find, like, in Zimbabwe or Africa, there's more time in the day. Ah, uh, yeah. Here, there's no time. There's no time. Like, you finish work, and next thing you know, like, you're going to bed, and you're waking up, and then you're off to work again. Mm. But like in Zimbabwe, like although I left when I was young, you know there was more time. I finished school. I had t I had time to pay my mates. Like before we were called in to like have dinner mm -hmm. or something. But like. is it that there is more time, or we 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 <laughs> say <laughs> is, it, is it that there is more time, or we don't rush? There's no rush. There's no hurry in Africa. There's no hurry in Africa. Yeah, that's yeah. The so we do take no our time and everything. Whereas here, time is money. 
Is it not so? Because I just feel is, I think here, time is money. You have to utilize time. But time is time. money as well in Africa. But then you want to look. Well, then, if this. we get deeper into this, yeah. we're going to end up into the way the situation is like in Africa yeah. and all that. But no, I do agree with what Carl is saying because mm. I think there is something about being uh, in the diaspora where your life is. You're on a fast pace. Mm-hmm. You're constantly, and you actually you look at the clock, and it's like it's moving faster than you you would want it to move. Whereas when you go back home to Zimbabwe, um, and you're there, Zimbabwe. Sorry, I was going to say, how did you say Zimbabwe again? <laughs> Zimbabwe, what? Wow. <laughs> Zimbabwe. She's oh, already adopted. I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Zimbabwe. 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 Oh, when you, know you go to Zimbabwe. Everyone just start calling Zimbabwe Zimbabwe now. <laughs> <laughs> because of you. Well, is it an IE at the end? Or it's. Um, if I say Zimbabwe. <laughs> but no, come on. I mean, it's the same thing with Stand how when you are having to spell pronunciation. The, <laughs> <laughs> the, say, the person person pronunciation. Pronunciation. I mean, if you look at um how you pronounce H. Yeah. How do you say H in Zimbabwe? H. 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 Yeah, yeah, but here we don't say edge because that they don't say edge. What did they say? What H? 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 If you're having to spell something, H? It's H. Oh, wow. So if it's a, if okay. you're if you're um, so, but then this is now boys are talking about. That's how you adapt the phonics. It was probably easy for you because you went to school. So T is silent. But some of us, when I had to spell, if you ask to spell hotel, you don't say H. Oh, you know, you don't do that. Well, how do you spell What do you say? We're here. Yeah. yeah. If you ask to spell hotel, <laughs> you have to say H O. H for hotel. O for hotel. See, this, 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 oh, hotel. This, this, the guy, these are the guys who have taken up to not pronouncing. That's not the point. They're pronouncing the key. What are they saying? What are? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's water. Like, oh, yeah, that's more London cockney. That's more cockney. Yeah. But no, I mean, uh, probably the way I'm I'm sounding it now is a bit more pronounced. But normally, yeah. when you're saying H, you don't say. Back home, we say H. That's what we say. We say H. I've learned something new today. But here, I've learned English today on this. <laughs> Thank you. But I mean, how do you say if someone was to ask you to spell hotel? I'll be like H for hotel. Or for Oscar. <laughs> no, but you Even see, the way you just said, the way you just <laughs> said, <laughs> the way you just said H right there, it's already is very different. Is it? It's very different. See, that's another thing I think, like, you, um, that's different, the way you pronounce certain things. Yeah. Um, like, your accent changes, you can't help it. Even, you know, if all of us go back to, you know, to Zimbabwe or Africa, when you start talking, you know, you think, oh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm speaking properly, like, you, know, you pronounce things, but people can tell. Can tell. Me. Like, That's true. you know, I've got a story actually. Like, <clears throat> like when I went to Zimbabwe, like two thousand and ten, with my uncles, um, and um, you go to a place where you have to, like, sometimes get my ID card because I, I haven't been, like, I haven't been to Zimbabwe for like for ages. And then obviously, there's ways of getting around the system. You pay, but I didn't realize there's a premium. Like, if you're from, like. You know, if you're Zimbabwean but you live in Mozambique, they'll ask you for like twenty dollars extra, like you know, to let with your papers. And then if you're from South Africa, it'd be like fifty dollars. And then if they hear your accent and you're from the UK, it just like doubles, it just gets more and more. <laughs> so my uncle was like, Calvin, don't say nothing, don't talk, I'll talk. And if yeah. we think yeah. you want to speak sure like you speak properly, but they can sense it. And obviously yeah, you know, when you want black male, they'll be like, Oh, so where'd you where are you from? Like that's the question the lady asked me behind the desk. She said, Where are you from? I'm like, I'm Zimbabwean. And then she's like, no, where do you live? And then my uncle was like, yeah, just keep quiet. And that's, yeah. So save that if you could. So you see, you say it was if you could, but you see how the way your English is probably coming out, or even your Shona mm-hmm. is coming out, it's very different to the locals. Which locals? To people in Zimbabwe. Do you think, you know what? Yeah, like that's another thing about living in the diaspora. Mm-hmm. You don't really know where you fit in, because when you, like, sometimes I speak to my English mates, you know, obviously, like with my accents, obviously changed. Yeah. But you know, I don't speak as English as them, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're like, oh yeah, you know, you speak English or you your accent. You can try. But, but yeah. they just see, you know, they can still. Cause like, for me, yeah. for me, like my friends actually, they know me since high school uh, or school. You know, 
they can still well without being here for a very long time right. they still like maybe see that like uh, a difference in my accent mm. but however if I meet someone that's different they, they can't tell however if you go to Zimbabwe again you go there and you think you can speak Shona or you think but you, you like you've lost the accent so you're like where do I really fit in like I'm not quite English but I'm not quite Zimbabwean <laughs> so Somewhere in the what middle. accent do I have so yeah that's kind Somewhere of Somewhere in the middle you, 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 that's when you get so many questions where do you come from? no I come from England I was you know no, 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 no. Originally, which you remember? Originally, like here in the UK, you'd be asked. People you ask you where you're yeah. from. You like and then you go back home. They're like, no, seriously, where you from? No, seriously. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm from Zimbabwe. Yeah. That's fine. And then you go to Zimbabwe. Where are you from? Mm. I'm from like you know like Glenora, like part of Zimbabwe. They're like, no, no. Where do you live? So you, you don't actually belong anywhere. So you're you're always being thrown around, like you know. But yeah, that's part of life. So, it's yeah. part of life. I think this is one of the things that um, we've had to um, accept or yeah. live in your yeah. diaspora. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure to have the both of you guys here on today. Um, Simba. Simba, which means... The Lion King. The Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. Yeah, but they pronounce it as Simba. Yeah. Simba. But that's not how you like Zimbabwe pronounce pronounced as Simba. Simba. Yeah, Simba. I think with the Lion King, they kind of have it very deep, isn't it? Simba. Simba. Simba, the Lion King. So, you know, the Lion King was named after me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I believe him. Yeah. yeah. Well, you were, you were young. He's a very rich man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you very much, Simba, for coming on to the show today. And Calvin, it's been an absolute pleasure. Calvin yeah. is an English name. Yeah, so I fit in in the diaspora. Fit in, in, in the right diaspora. <laughs> English name. But I do have a Zimbabwe name now. Which is? That's for the next show. <laughs> Check, him out. <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> well, you know what, guys? Since yeah. you've been here, I've got a few questions to ask you. Cool. Um, how long have you been in the diaspora? Uh, in the UK? In the UK? Um, since I was like 11, 12. Yeah. Okay, 12. so that's more than 10 years. Yeah, more than 10 years. Okay, yeah. definitely. And you said about 17 years, right? I think so. I'm not going to ask you when yeah. you came in because that means we know your age. So, but it's been. What's wrong with my age? You, you just went in right there and asked me. It's too young. Okay. It's cool. It's too young. Don't worry about it. All right. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, these are the questions that you should know. Am I going to get paid for these questions? Let's see if you win. Oh, okay. Oh, you're competing what? against each other or what? Yes, what? who gets? Who oh, gets? Cool. Who gets? Really? Oh, the best man? Yeah, mm. Right, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Um, Is there a buzzer? Bang! <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> Alright, this should be easy. I'll start with an easy one. When did England win the FIFA World Cup? 1966. I, I got that on. You didn't say anything! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no okay, just, just okay, because so one point for Simba, for Calvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simba, yeah. yeah. You just got no, it. No, one mind. point for Calvin. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Alright, one point for Calvin. Alright, second question. So they're just five. They're just six questions. They're just six questions, but you can answer it. You can answer it. Okay. Okay. So competitive. Okay. We have to be here, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What fear does David Beckham have? Taking penalties. That's a good one. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to point it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, unfortunately, no, that's not the answer. But you, I know he thought it was a penalty. Penalty, but that's yes, so not the answer. But that's not the answer. Oh, how, how do you, you know? You should know this because I don't I know, um, like, Victoria Beckham? That's his wife. No, David Beckham is afraid the fear of birds. 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 Wow. Yeah, birds. 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 Yes, yeah. birds. Birds. Yeah, yeah. Birds. Wow. Okay, so none of you got that right. Second, yeah. I should get it right. I should get a point because I said something. No, you didn't. Oh. Yeah. Next question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next yeah. question. What year did East Enders start to air? Ooh. Mm. Mm. I used to, I used to, I used to love these things. 1989? You're close! 1986? 7? Are you just, just guessing? I'm just guessing. You said it's close. It was actually in 1985. 1985? Yeah, oh, they do say this. Do they? Do they? Yeah, they like at the end of the do year they? or something like that. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Like, I used to love your standards, you know. I, I don't want I don't want to 
Yeah. Okay, fourth question. Mm. So far, it's only Calvin who's going to point. Yeah, man. One point. Okay. Uh, you, have fourth to give question. Me, you have to give me a, a, a point as well. For what? For just picking out. <laughs> <laughs> how, right. can I, how can I lose? How can I lose? Okay. Uh, fourth question. What is the name of the red line on the London Underground map? The red line. The Central part? line. Yes! yes! <laughs> Get in there, son! See, I've got a point! I told you. One right. point, one inch. Yeah. One inch. How, many points, how many questions left? One. There's one left. There's one question. One one left. Left. So it's a do or die. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, I'll give you. Um... <laughs> right, on. let's see, let's see, let's right. see. Yeah. Oh, that's too easy of a question. Um, right. Which countries make up. The United States. Okay, buzz, 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 so basically, whatever prize you have, you guys are gonna have, you're gonna oh. share it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so you're much. Right. I'd like to say thank you so much for, for having you on the show today. It's been I a pleasure. I think I won that one, guys. I'll smash it. I'll give it to you. I'll give it oh, to cool. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. We <laughs> were talking about living the life in the diaspora, and as we are, we are diasporians. Mm. We're gonna have a lot more in store, uh, more episodes coming up, and we're gonna be talking about the different things that people have experienced by living in the diaspora. So once again, I'd like to say thank you very much, and I'm your host, Tandy Jacobs. Thank you.